All right, good morning, everybody. Top of the morning, morning or top of the morning to you. Looks like we're getting this year kicked off, and it's not, seem like it's not to a good start at all. All right. Let's see how it turns out, right? All right. Sometimes it's not about how the day starts, or the, but it dep uh, depends on how the day ends. Uh, real quick, you guys know that story about uh, Devin, De Devin Hamill that plays safety for the Buffalo Bills. All right. You guys that are, are jocks, no matter what sport you play, all right, it's all over the news this morning. All right, this is something that was bigger than I thought it would turn out to be. I was watching, um, actually, I happen to have a channel 88, if you have Sirius XM radio, and I was working, I picked up, uh, I was working at the airport here in Las Vegas when I heard about the incident, and then next thing you know, the, the, sorry about that. I get these calls every time I try to make a video for some reason. All right. Back to the conversation. Why is somebody keep calling me? Anyway. Now I lost my thought process. But the players that surrounded this young man, okay, and according to reports that he was hit, he got back up, wobbled around a little bit, fell down on his back, and something to do with cardiac arrest after a hit, which I thought it was something that's very, you know, very, very different. I thought maybe it might have been a CTE, okay, which is big with uh, football players. Football players and military, okay? Uh, pretty much any uh, contact sports, uh, boxing, where it, you know, where there's a lot of uh, contact with the head, okay, or face. And, man, this morning, I was just, you know, looking around, you know, YouTube, and they had uh, Skip, I guess, was, this guy was, uh, blown out of the doggone uh, roof with these uh, insensitive tweets or, or I guess tweets that people deem insensitive, okay, about the game should have continued or something to that effect. Well, let me tell you something. I think that the NFL finally, for change, okay, and I think that they try at times, try to show that it's more so about the players and not about the game, okay? I thought it was a good call on their behalf. I mean, they can go play that game any other day, all right? I mean, it's just a game. I think that people, they look at the game as idolatry. I did videos about that. I like sports, too. I played sports. I played, you know, semi-pro basketball for a little, uh, for a little while, Okay? But sports is a reprieve or, re or relief. It's not a religion. And sometimes people take, they take these tweets, sports, but these tweets way, way out of context, okay? I mean, people will come after you, all right? If you maybe make a tweet and maybe if, it, if it's deemed awkward or you don't agree, okay? If some people, they want to kill you, okay? I've seen this happen one other time, okay? If some of you OGs around there, triple OGs around, uh, been around long enough, if you remember Hank Gathers, remember the basketball player that went to Loyola Marymount, all right, that he was a senior year. He had led the country in scoring, okay? Actually had a, a teammate named Bo Kimball, all right? Both of them dudes were from Philly. Both those guys were number one and two in scoring in the nation, okay? 30, like 34, uh, 33, 35 points a game. That, that was a heck of a duo, though, all right? Uh, and do, uh, it was Hank Gathers was supposed to come out first. That's what they predicted him. It, it was the 1991 draft, 
and guy had a uh, dude had a heart attack and died. Well, he had a heart attack first, and he he was listed in critical condition. Had to take blood pressure medicine, and he didn't have the same performance. And he got off the medicine, and you know he ended up dying. He had a, se a second heart attack, and he died. He died right on the court. Okay, and they had uh, NCAA decided to postpone the game. Okay, so I thought it was a good call, and I just thought that see, people don't realize that Skip uh, Bayless is pretty much like 70 years old. If this was probably the 70s, 80s, or probably 90s, then that'd be one thing. Maybe the game would continue unless there was some type of catastrophic uh, event. But this is a different generation now, all right, where this it's a more sensitive uh, culture, uh, more culture sensitive generation on top of that too, all right? So even if you don't, you pretty much going to be forced anyway to consider other factions other than just business. All right. But all in all, all right, I think that the, the NFL, the teams have tried to show that they care more so, again, about the player's safety. All right. And it's, it's more about somebody's life, you know, but this stuff happens all the time, y'all. All right. You guys know that, that somebody falls, you know, playing this contact sport, or any sport, okay? Somebody going up blowing a knee. Uh, the guy from San Francisco, that quarterback, beginning of this of the season. All right, uh, I can't think of his name. All right, you guys know who he is. Dude blew his ankle with the first week of the uh, the season. Okay, stuff like this happens, but I think that with the magnitude of it, where it was like a pretty much a good bit of life in the thing, then. Uh, they they factor that. All right, well let me uh leave it at that, y'all. Okay, let me know your tweets. Okay, uh, yeah, or what you think about that through your tweets. Uh, I think it's a wake up call for all of us in situations like that. Uh, to probably consider once again, you know, things that you say and all that. All right, Skip is just an old school guy. All right, and I think that's one thing probably younger people need to understand, all right, that they pretty much get it done no matter what, all right, that's that baby boomer generation, you know, I got a little bit of that in me too, but there's still capacity for me to learn some things, at least 10 to 15% capacity in my brain, all right, y'all, peace.